10 American adults owns a cell phone, and with people spending more and more time on their phones, there's a greater concern about the potential health effects from these devices. But there might be something we can all do. Tonight, we take a closer look at the potential harm at a small device that promises to lower that risk. I think she's on top of it, but just... Entrepreneur David Schottenstein is constantly on his smartphone. Thousands and thousands of minutes I use a month. He couldn't help but wonder what effect radiation from the phone may be having on his brain. Cell phones emit a type of radiation similar to what we get from microwaves or MRIs. Studies have shown that extended cell phone use more than 50 minutes increases the metabolic rate in the brain. The question is, well, what, that, what does that mean? Nobody really knows what that means. But that was enough to say, well, if something happens there, maybe we should be more cautious. And this is where the caution is coming to play. Last year, the World Health Organization classified the radio frequency electromagnetic fields, such as those emitted by cell phones, as possibly carcinogenic to humans. They even themselves uh, have actually expressed the fact that, you know, more studies are needed and we don't know, but they want to be more on the cautious side. Hearing on the side of caution himself, David recently bought more than two dozen of these. A tiny chip placed on the back of the phone that purportedly can reduce the risk of radiation exposure by up to 80 percent. So look, if it does nothing, who cares? It's a little chip on the back of your phone. But they say it reduces radiation by 80 percent, can't hurt. A Miami-based company called Bodywell recently brought the chip to market. My biggest concern is the children, younger generation, their brain, their skull is still not developed as an adult. It contains more water than bone and this is water absorbs radiation more than anything. Because the effects of radiation are cumulative, Ihorn says it may be years before we know the health effects of long-term cell phone use. And I believe that the more exposed you are, the more we will find on new research that we didn't even think about. David Schottenstein isn't waiting to find out. It's comforting to know that at least I have some kind of protection now, you know, planted on the back of my phone. Never know what may work. Well, the chips uh, sell for $29, and if you're interested, you can find the link right on our website. That is always local10.com. Just look under our top story section.